What's up everyone? It is me and I'm back. Uh, the wife and I decided to plant a fall garden. So this will be our first fall 2020 garden. Um, we are liking it so far. It'll be our first one. Um, if any of you know Tiffany's dad, Robert White, he does gardens and he's pretty successful at it. So we decided to give ourselves a shot at this. And as you can see, um, that middle row is what we planted first. That's why you see it flourishing a whole lot more than the other two rows. Um, we decided, hey, if that one took off the way it did, let's give this other row a shot. And that row in the middle you see is cabbage. We dropped those in there uh, and they decided to uh, take off really, really well. They're flourishing really, really nicely, as you can see. Uh, I'm gonna jump across over here real quick and give you guys a little rundown. As you can see, look at that. Those guys are coming in very, very nicely. As you can see up on the end, this is the second bucket over here. Look how big these boys are. Look at that. Boy, that looks delicious already. And once they head get in there, we're going to really look at them. It's going to be really nice, nice, nice. Look at that. And this one here was the runt of the whole clique. And he's decided to take off and go to. I mean, we've had some really, really good success at this first um, row right here. So we decided, hey, let's try it out. Let's see what else we have. And so we put collard greens in. We just put those in there. These are transplants. So this whole row here would be collard greens that we're putting in. And then as you see here, this row right there, at the first row there, that's all broccoli. So we could put in some broccoli, cabbage, and some collard greens here. And it's coming out nicely. And it's like, it's like my new baby or something. I'm out here um, every evening or every afternoon just making sure any you no know, grass or anything is growing up all the in between or whatever, pulling them out, pulling any weeds out or anything, just to keep it looking nicely and allow them the best chance for success and us to have a good harvest. Step back over this wire real quick. If you notice the little fence we put around here, this is actually for the dogs, uh, so they won't get in there and start digging anything up. I had Zeus get in there, he wanted to start sniffing and digging right when I put here, did my rose, so I said, let's go ahead and put this up put some nylon string around it every time he gets close we yell no and now he just doesn't even go in it anymore so that is the garden and we are looking for the harvest to be very very nice if you notice on the end these bins we have here these are our compost bins a little bit about this compost bin <laughs> See the roll of wire you see here and, her, and the little bins that's made out of it? I actually found that on the side of a road traveling one day and I said, hey, that could be perfect for compost bins. And what I did was cut about 90 so inches out, rolled it up, got me about, they, they make about three, three by four foot. I've already put leaves in there. These are uh, leaves table scraps from like a uh, vegetable scraps not actually table scraps but the scraps of vegetables or fruit that we may have left over or that may have been gone bad we'll throw them in the uh, bins we'll throw coffee grounds or what have you and soon when i cut the yard we'll be uh throwing in uh the grass clippings and if you notice the leaves that's in there look at my trees green 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 uh and those are not these are actually leaves from lawn guys. Um, I've seen them passing by with bags of leaves on their trucks and uh, just simply just walk over and uh, ask them if they're going to use the leaves or anything. And they politely just gave me the leaves. So that's a new resource that I'm going to tap into is when I see these lawn guys go grab the leaves and stuff or grass clips that they have on their trailers and I'll bring it home and get my compost started. So. Anything to make it economical, anything to uh, make it free. So if you think about it, free wire bins, free leaves, and then compost is going to be generated from it. So it'll be free compost. And that free compost is going to be chilled into this garden here, which is going to give my plants, the or my vegetables, the best uh, 
opportunity for success and having a good harvest. So we like it, we love it. Uh, I'm hoping it'll come together pretty well and I will keep you guys updated on its success rate. All right, so remember folks, go play outdoors, get outside, take a break from the phones, take a break from the TVs and just get outside and do something. All right, enjoy the weather while you can. Just get outside and go play outdoors. All right, folks, till next time. Goodbye, y'all.